What's going on YouTube? Curtis Seven here for an in-depth review of United versus Liverpool or Liverpool versus United at Anfield yesterday. Had a lot of people who were just angry with the way I reviewed the game, said that I was really biased, didn't give a proper opinion about the football match. But you can expect that, couldn't you? This, this, at the end of the day, this is Liverpool versus Manchester United. And um, I think uh, Martin Tyler said this. I got this from him. I think he said this yesterday or the day before. He said, whether you like it or not, Liverpool versus Manchester United is the biggest game in England. Now, if you can't get up for a game like that, you shouldn't be following sport, let alone following football. And when, if you support either Liverpool or Manchester United, you're definitely up for it. Your emotions are high, up and down through the whole game. So, yes, definitely I was biased. Yes, I was up and about. But at the same time, it's just banter. It's just fun. It's just, you know, these results don't always go your way. Last, last year when Liverpool came to us at, Old Trafford, and they, they they demolished us 3-0. You know, you cop it on the chin, and you just hope the next time, you know, the next result goes your way. It's 50-50. It's not always one-way traffic. Anyways, glad I got that out of the way with, all right? And if I did upset, upset any Liverpool fans with that video yesterday, I apologize. I'm sorry, okay? Now, I'm going to be real and tell you how I honestly feel. I've slept on it. The next day, I'm going to give my real review, Okay. Uh, both teams, which I thought was really strange, uh, was both unchanged from the start of the game. Uh, for United, Di Maria was still on the bench. Gerard, I'm surprised he didn't start. I know he hasn't been starting recently, but this is Liverpool United. You know, especially his last game. I thought he would have started for sure, 100%, but he didn't. Anyways, we bossed it from the start. I did say it in the video, but I'll say it again, and it's so true. Uh, you know... Louis Van Gaal is always banging on about his philosophy, his philosophy, you know? And I'll tell you what, if that's the way it looks like it finally clicked, well, mate, it was well worth the wait because we look like Barcelona-esque. And I'm not even joking. We look unreal. Now, I wasn't sure if that was Liverpool playing so badly or us playing so well. Probably a little bit of both. But every time we lost the ball, we got it back within two seconds. Our pressure was amazing. Thought we were fantastic yesterday in that first half. Unbelievable. For the whole 45 minutes, we were fantastic. Now, I think, well, after 10 minutes, uh, Fellaini wins the ball back, passes it to Herrera. Herrera with a magnificent through ball to one Mata, finishes it in the far post. We go up 1-0. Mate, what a goal that was. And we deserved every single little bit of that goal. What a goal from one matter. What a through ball from Herrera. Herrera, Fellaini, yesterday I thought played fantastic. But in saying that, in that first half, as much as we did dominate, Liverpool looked scary on the counter-attack. Their speed, mate, they, they could create chances from nothing. And they did yesterday. When the ball fell to uh, Daniel Sturridge, who cut it back to Lalana. Lalana had the chance, put it wide, should have been 1-1. Now, I think that was Liverpool's first shot for the whole half, or their only shot for the whole half. It should have been 1-1 going into half-time. Should not be missing that chance. Lana didn't have the best of games, but to be fair, a lot of Liverpool players didn't have the best of games yesterday. But uh, going into half-time, lads, United, definitely the better team. Definitely deserve to go in at 1-0. Steven Gerrard comes on at half-time. We all know what happened. Gets sent off after 40 seconds. Um, which, and when I first seen it, I'll only give you my honest reaction. When I first seen the referee give the red card, I was like, oh no, you've just, you've just stuffed up a good game. Honestly, why? Why? I didn't see the stamp at first, but when you see the replay, when you see what the referee saw, yes, definitely a red card. And stupid, why would you do that, Gerard? Honestly, I know you're trying to be, you know, the leader for Liverpool, you know, you want to come in and rough up the game and, you know, show who's boss, but mates, that is just downright stupid. And I know I carried on a bit yesterday's, in yesterday's video, but come on, I don't care if you're, even if you are a Liverpool fan, you cannot agree uh, or disagree that that wasn't a red card. I know you're jumping up and down how bad the ref was, which in my opinion, the ref yesterday was, I would say he had an all right game. He, he got most decisions right for and against United, you know, for and against Liverpool as well. Definitely a red card, stupid Gerard, and Liverpool were down to 10 men. But being down to 10 men, I thought 
they play better with 10 men than they did in 11 men. Now, I wasn't sure if um, the way the, this is going to pan out. Now, professional sports, 11 against 10 in football, especially Premier League standard, you know, it, it, it shouldn't be a close contest. And, and again, in the second half, we did boss it. But this second half, you expect it that we bossed it. Because not only the way we played the first half, but we got an extra man now. And to Liverpool's credit, they kept fighting. They kept playing well. Now, Liverpool fans saying Phil Jones sh should have got a red card for what he did. Mate, there is no way in hell that that is a red card. Now, call me biased, call me whatever. But that is not a red card. Yes, he could have been sent off for two yellow card offences. But that tackle against Jordan Henderson was not a straight red card. Definitely late, definitely clumsy, but because the tensions were so high, because the referee just sent off Gerard, all Liverpool fans wanted Jones to be sent off. And it wasn't a red card whatsoever. But in saying that, he was lucky to stay on the pitch for the yellow card offences which he had throughout the match. But in saying that, we had the ball. Di Maria came on, which I thought he needed to come on because to break the game, we needed that extra pace to kill the game off. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. He came on, didn't have the best of games, but we used his pace, got the ball, played a nice one-two with one matter, one matter, overhead scissor kick or sideways scissor kick, whatever you want to call it. One of the goals of the season, put it past Mignolet, 2-0. And at that point, I was thinking, game over. What a one matter, mate. What a player. He's just really rising at the right stage of the season for us. And uh, I'm so happy to see that. But in saying that, lads, Sturridge nicked one back. 2-1, what, 20 minutes to go? And I'm thinking, shit, that wasn't good. De Gea beat at his near post. Did take a little deflection from uh, Phil Jones. But still, I think De Gea was surprised on the pace of the ball. But what a, what a goal from Daniel Sturridge there. Game on. And, 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 and I tweeted this out. You know, fair play to Brendan Rodgers. He had the balls to stick on Mario Balotelli, a player who should have got a red card, in my personal opinion. Came on, got a red card, got a yellow card after 30 seconds. You know, trying to break Gerard's record there. So stupid. There's no need to be kicking out like that at Phil Jones, but he did. Got a yellow card. Two seconds later, he's grabbing Smalling, throwing him into the fence. You know, and he's trying to blame Smalling for having aftermaths. You, you, what are you, you're down to 10 men, Mario Balotelli, honestly. That's what I said, Brendan Rodgers, he's got balls because he can. he's the type of player that he could score you a goal, match-winning goal, and he could also get you down to 9 men as well. But fair play to Brendan Rodgers, was positive, stuck it out, you know, really went for the win. I've got to, I've got to you know, say well done to him for that. But in saying that, lads, we bossed that second half. You know, I, I, you would think after getting that goal, Liverpool would go on and have a chance after chance, but it wasn't like that. We just, we just bossed it as you would expect with an extra man. You know, Liverpool hardly created any more chances and we won a penalty right at the end, which Wayne Rooney missed, should have converted, should have been game over, but it wasn't. Fair play to Mignolet, great save. 2-1 uh, and you think, you know, they're going to have another chance, but it wasn't meant to be. And right at the end, Martin Skirtle stamps on De Gea. And that should have been a red card, but the referee already blown the whistle. Referee probably wasn't that close to it. It was pretty far away from where he was. And uh, Liverpool fans getting so angry about that. But not that long ago, Diego Costa and Chelsea were stamping on you guys, doing the exact same things, and you guys were up in arms. How can you defend yourselves for what, you know, the, the, the way you guys behaved yesterday? The acts you committed. That's all I'm saying, you know? So, mate... Skirtle should definitely be having a band coming his way. Gerard, well, he, he should be having a three-match band coming his way, which is so stupid, in my opinion. United, we grabbed all three points. We're five points clear on top of Liverpool now, with I think there's about seven games to go, something like that. But we are away to Villa next. Arsenal are away to Arsenal next. I think, actually, I'm not too, I'm not too sure if we're home or away to Villa, but... Definitely, Liverpool are away to Arsenal. Um, they're still not out the top four race. Definitely, this race is still on. Trust me, mark my words. United still have many, many hard fixtures. City are still not safe in the top four, in my opinion. They can still drop out the um, the top four. They've got a lot of hard fixtures as well. So, even if, if United do go on to make it, Liverpool can still make it as well if City drop out. But you would expect Arsenal to go through. They're in pretty good form at the minute as well. But yes, 
Lads, man of the match today, one matter without a doubt. What a performance today. And again, I apologise if Liverpool fans were upset about the way I was carrying on yesterday. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Stay tuned to the Aston Villa review. Take care and peace.